what's going on YouTube so I actually got a funny story for you guys right now I actually just got finished recording a 30 minute video for you guys um, and you guys can all in the comments tell me how big my brain is because my mic wasn't turned on the entire time um, so that entire video is pretty much irrelevant um, still hitting myself for that one right now but I figured I may as well jump back into it um, do it uh, maybe a little bit better and show you guys the new changes for Thunderbreaker. Alrighty, so real quickly I'm just going to go over the exact changes that Thunderbreaker had to its kit. <clears throat> so starting with the lightning elemental, um, just improved uh, display for it, um, the lightning stack, so it's QOL. We get the new ability C-Wave. Um, and previously in the beta, it was only 1800 range, so they uh, increased that to 2700. They also increased the amount of enemies hit um, and the attack range by about 40%, um, but they just decreased on how often it hits. Um, this won't matter if you're already one-shotting. Thunderbolts, the attack range was increased by 23%. This wasn't vertical, this was horizontal, so you'll just reach farther. Um, Typhoon action delay was decreased by 7%, um, so it will combo with your other abilities a lot quicker. Lightning Cascade, the duration was increased by 7 seconds, that's huge, that's our final damage buff. Uh, only downfall is that the duration was, or the cooldown was increased by 12 seconds, which really isn't that big of a deal. Um, Shark Torpedo, um, enables you to combo it quicker, 40% quicker. Um, and then Lightning uh, God Spear Strike, the attack range was increased by 31%. That's real nice because it sucks missing this. Um, and then the action delay uh, was also changed as well. Um, so those are going to be the exact changes that happened to TB. Um, I think that this class is hidden op right now i think what's really nice about it is it's very unique because people when leveling it hitting that third job and all they have is um ascension and thunder they think it's going to be the most finger breaking class in the entire world right off the rip um like i'm gonna let you know as soon as you hit fourth job changes completely um all of those abilities are just added on to mobility around the map but it really doesn't um it's not as it's not as finger mashing as some may think um for, in terms of bossing mules if you guys want to make thunderbreaker bossing mule i think that this class is going to move up to s tier for sure i think that this is going to be one of the best bossing mules in the game um and i'll go over that in a bit why is that and i think for a main um i think it's still going to be around i think it's going to go probably up to about a tier uh, just because its burst is still lacking but because of the damage increases that it got the range that it got other things added to the kit i think that we're going to be very very high um, because the only boss that we really lack on is going to be slime that's just because our burst is a little bit lackluster but our dpm is going to be the highest of any class in the game this patch i'm pretty sure will be will be probably maybe blaster but blaster probably takes everything um i haven't done any of these tests myself um but we are we're really 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 high on the dpm board and from my tests earlier or not tests but like just fiddling around doing my daily quests i can tell you right off the rip it's way higher way 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 higher the coolest things um, that I wanted to show you guys today was a lot of the particle updates that they added itself. This class looks gorgeous. Um, a lot of the abilities that maybe didn't match before, maybe looked like outdated, they updated. Um, I don't have any lightning charges right now, so I could show you, but they had um, Gale before was like red or pink or whatever, um, and it just didn't make sense in the kit. Uh, but now, as you can see, blue got a nice bigger hitbox it looks amazing um really quickly for just people who want to see the particle updates um i'll go ahead and show that really quickly for you um starting from the first job right away they changed a whole bunch um lightning punch 
just looks like a little faded um, shark shadow coming at you. Um, looks really nice. Flash used to just be a very, very ugly white line that just came out of nowhere and you just kind of teleported. Um, now it looks like Killua's dashing at you with lightning. I mean, it looks crazy cool. Um, updated for all the icons as well, for all the particle changing abilities. Um, looks kind of a little bit more cartoony. I like it. Lightning Elemental is really cool. Shark Sweep. Gorgeous. It doesn't look as much of a, of a backflip anymore. kind of looks like a 45 degree angle flip. But, uh, yeah, it looks sick. Title Crash, this is probably going to be one of the best updates to Thunderbreaker right here. Um, it, one, it looks fucking gorgeous. It looks amazing. Just look at that. When comboed with other abilities, it looks really good. Um, and it doesn't cancel the animation anymore. I mean, it does, but the actual animation itself um, still goes through. Um, before it would just look like you pulled up a, an anchor and it just disappeared really quickly even though the damage would stay there. Um, so you still can auto cancel with this and you no longer need to combo it with other abilities to use um, uh, Tidal Crash anymore. So that's kind of nice. Nice QOL. As you saw before, those balls that flew across the map, let's see if I can spawn them right here. Yep, boom. That's our new ability right there added. Sea wave um, it's going to add to our mobs per hour when training by a shit ton um, for bossing I'll do a few BAs and see exactly what that does to bossing but it does a ton of damage it does a ton so mobbing I went to VC3 earlier just to test it out it was one shotting the entire bottom platform um, so pretty much you're just going to leave the bottom platform on larger maps and it will just clear through it really easily. The nice thing was, um, they told us that, uh, Tidal Crash was going to get Sea Wave added to it. Um, so our perfect trio nodes changed from Thunderbolt Annihilation Gale to, um, adding, uh, Tidal Crash instead of Gale, because now we get Sea Wave on there as well. And it just does... A ton of damage. I'm very, very happy about that changes. So there's that. Ascension. Look how HD that shark looks. I mean, it looks amazing. Before, you could hardly even see your character when you were using Ascension Thunder. Um, you still really can't now, but it looks way better. Um, you know, from the gills to the shark moving, mouth closing, stuff like that. All the unnecessary stuff that just makes makes it look beautiful. Uh, Thunder as well. I mean, look at that new animation. Really, really nice. Um, Gale, as you can see, looks way better now with everything. Um, actually matches the rest of the kit. So I think that's a perfect, perfect addition. Um, particle update, great job to the particle team at um, Nexon because they did an amazing job. Um, this didn't get really fiddled with too much. They particle updated it slightly. Um, but the coolest thing to me is before when you would combo Annihilation and Thunderbolt together, they would both come out at the same time, both kind of crash at the ground and it would look kind of clunky. Um, I'm just going to show you each of the abilities one at a time first really quickly, just so you can see. Um, but I mean, look at that. That shark looks amazing now. It used to just be like a black outlined shark with no particles on it that just came out of the ground and crashed. Um, and then Thunderbolt now too. Before it looked really cool, but it really didn't make sense. It was kind of like just some electrical like prison bars came down around your anchor. Um, and this ability also got a 23% uh, increase on its range as well. Um, so that's really, really nice. It didn't get any vertical um, increase, I believe. Um, I was trying it out on a few maps that I couldn't touch before, and I still can't touch them. So there's that. But this is where the magic really comes in. When you use the bossing abilities together, 
look one after another they come out gorgeously just looks like it's a constant barrage anchor shark anchor shark anchor shark it looks amazing alrighty um, arc charger actually got changed so no longer does it require uh, lightning stacks to put on um, so you don't have to start out your first few fights or your first few seconds of a fight building uh, charges just to throw it on uh, it's now just a toggle on and off uh, which is really really nice it increases your damage increases your lines amazing ability I love that change completely uh, your iframe slight particle updates nothing too much nothing too crazy uh, the one thing that I am sad about in the changes was we were told that we were going to be getting uh, CD on all hyper skills and they came out actually saying that TV was uh, one of the only ones that wasn't uh, with this ability right here so our iframe still does stick at 45 seconds Passive skills, I'm still going to take the same ones, all three for Annihilation, number of attacks, and damage for Thunderbolt. Um, particle changes for these guys didn't change too much, so I don't have to show you. But while I'm here, I will talk over why Bossing Mule is actually going to be S plus tier for sure. S plus plus for a Bossing Mule. Right off the rip, second perfect trio node completely irrelevant you don't even need it for a 220 whatsoever i was able to solo lobby in on this character before the revamp at 220 just only having these two guys that's all of your damage right here boom boom because you're a pirate all you need is loaded die um things like overdrive cygnus blessing stuff like that um you won't need unless it's your main because they really do take some leveling to become quite decent um, and then decent sharp eyes as well You're gonna level up cascade first um, And then holy symbol and then you can go to shark throw and then lightning spear and then top it off with lightning spear god um, In terms of fifth job changes The only thing that they changed was this right here which is really nice because before you would combo abilities together and it would just randomly check out this spear, right? I've got it on auto right now. Um, so it would appear anywhere. Um, and certain bossing like Lucid, let's say, if I'm clearing out golems and it wastes the lightning spear, it kind of sucks. Um, it's not too big of a deal, but it sucks. Um, now you can actually manually place it um, by right-clicking it auto or manual. So that's a really good quality of life update as well. Um, and I just think that's amazing. It's perfect. I think on top of all of this, damage increases, new ability, whatnot, I think it makes it probably the most versatile class in the game right now. Um, sucks not having a crazy burst, but we still have one. Um, it's not as bad as people think. Uh, but I think that the DPM charts are just going to show Thunderbreaker skyrocketing in this patch. Um, that's why I'm going to put it as... Sorry if I'm a little bit biased, but this is probably going to be the best class in the game coming this patch. This is the year of the Thunderbreaker for sure. For sure. I think that is it for what I wanted to show you guys today. Um, I am going to be uploading a Lomian video just so I could show you guys it bossing a little bit. But I did want to talk to you guys, show you the new updates, stuff like that. Um, just talk a brief overview of what they changed to Thunderbreaker. Um, if you guys liked the video today and you guys want to see more content showing Thunderbreaker, um, please like, subscribe. Um, I'll have some other videos, um, guides, uh, training rotations, and bossing videos in the future as well. Um, so I just want to thank all you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you.